all this might not be Assalamualaikum. Hi guys, my name is Rada Salis. If it's your first time checking me out, I'd love it if you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can join the farm. And if it's not your first time, hi, welcome and thank you for coming back to my channel. So obviously it's a new background, it looks new, everything. Okay, yeah, I moved to my sister's place in Kumasi and I'm loving it. And thankfully the, there is this good background. I'm just like, oh yeah, I can make my videos in Kumasi too. So that is exciting and yes. This video is basically about AOU residence life. After I uploaded my video about AOU campus and then like my experience living in Rwanda, people reached out with more questions wanting to know about the AOU residence life. Thank you so much Jeff and M.M for putting together questions to guide this video. I really, really appreciate it and I hope you all enjoy this video as well. So the first question is everything about housing. So AOU is not a residential campus. So that means students, there is no hostel like any all the normal colleges you know. Students have to look for their own housing. But one nice thing is AOU actually has this short stem life hostel. I call it short term life hostel because you can't cook in that hostel. You literally have to be buying food from the cafeteria every single day. You know how cafeterias Cafeteria food is not every time, but cafeteria food sucks. So it's not any, it's, it's it, like it can't be any good. Cafeteria food is cafeteria food. You don't expect so much from them. And also, like if you don't want that, you have to be you have to be ordering twenty four seven from restaurants nearby or going to the roadside or maybe go to your friend that has a house and cook from them. And that is not really sustainable in my own opinion. So ALU residence is that kind of residence that you can't cook. I'll insert videos of the residence. The AOE residence I lived in in my first year. That's so you see videos of. So basically, and the residence has, even though I think the kitchen is the main thing of for me and the rest of the fact that I can't cook and I have to be buying food, like, since I'm not rich, like, I can't be buying food every single day, like, I think, like, why? And also, like, the good thing about the residence is if you are in the student residence and anything happens to you there, the school is you are under their care so they'll reach out to you they'll try to help you they'll try to solve your problem but when you move out to the out of the residence it's basically you and yourself and god basically like if anything happens to you outside campus it really doesn't care so much that like someone that lives in their residence and transportation from the residence is also provided so if you live there there is a bus and there's a schedule and it's not You 
have to pay for it as well and then if you can choose to pay for it or you can choose not to you're still okay you can be not be at the residence and not pay for it and still move on with your life and use bus you can use bus if you want but nobody uses run buses in Iran. i don't think i know anybody that uses bus everyone just uses bike because it's just convenient and fast you don't have to wait for any schedule you just move when you get a bike do you get it and yes and how much is, yeah the house in my first year was 100 dollars for four in a room and basically it's just like any normal hostel with bank bed so four in a room but there is a bathroom in each room that's one good thing so you don't have to share a bathroom with the floor and yeah if you live at the residence you kind of like socialize you have like a family it's also all cool and nice then there is a washroom so like you pay for laundry and there is washing machine and your laundry is taken care of and you just have to go for it folded which i enjoy doing after the residence like now i have to either do my own laundry or pay someone to do it and it's not really fun because even after you pay them you have to fold it yourself but you know still residence wasn't fitting for me so i moved and then if you decide to move it's either you find a group of friends and then you have the shared housing system yep shared housing and shared housing also comes with this issue but i say shared housing is also like something you can think of and th but also think of people that you're moving out with so you don't have troubles when you live with them yep and um, the next question is about safety. So I mentioned people living outside campus. So that means, would it be safe to be in, in your own house? Will, will it be safe renting out house from people in Rwanda? Will it be safe living out in the street of Rwanda? Rwanda is very safe. Like I mentioned in my previous video, like Rwanda is an African country that the systems are working. Nobody can actually run away with your money like that like you can just call on them and they'll, they'll be they'll be called to act do you get it so i think rwanda is safe that's the thing so don't worry about someone duping you don't worry about someone taking away your stuff don't worry about that unless maybe it's just a cloth and you don't care about it but for big thefts the person who goes got through you that's one thing i know so definitely it's safe at night because so like you we walk around midnight in rwanda and it's safe more than i can't do that in ghana but definitely i'll go for works at night if i was i wanted to i used to do it a lot we go for works midnight night we don't care it's safe and there are security men patrolling all over the all over the community during night i mean yeah rwanda is very safe so the next question is on scholarship scholarships and tuition so i don't know much about tuition but aou tuition is i think four thousand the last time i checked but because i'm on scholarship and i really do not know much alhamdulillah my scholarship and i really do not know much about aou tuition but aou has a decent plan that you could use to pay your tuition and i think they always make it centered to your pockets basically that's what i think and because they have isc income shared agreements that you could think of also if you don't get a scholarship you want so you definitely do not have to close your mind on aou completely because the scholarship did not pick you i think i and yeah so basically if you're on scholarship everything might be covered like my scholarship covers for my tuition for my housing and then for a little bit stipend to keep in my pockets and yeah so basically with that i'm covered but then i realized if i live in the residence it's more expensive my money finishes and i don't get any chop money but when i live outside the residence i'm able to manage and know how much i'm spending on each thing so so the last question is fun or maybe life outside campus i'll say okay when you're when students are not actually doing assignments or we don't have deadlines killing us or when we plan well there is actually so much to do and have fun with outside school so basically kigali is like the hub where we were the old campus was like the hub of the city where like you look right you look right and there is something fun going you look left there is you look everywhere and there is something you could get involved with so definitely we have gyms around so basically yeah what i'm trying to say is it kigali is fun but i don't know about the new campus we are moving to but where we schooled at kigali heights was amazing like every life was happening like lots of food places that you could go to like chinese restaurants mexican restaurants and yeah like good food around that you could go access and if you want fun there are clubs i never go clubbing by the way but i know students that go there and have fun but i i don't know but it's not my fun and there are play movies like 
anything you want basically like any other city there is some in kigali so don't worry about that you wouldn't be bored in AO. even aoe has events that would keep you going i know every weekend at least there is some campus event happening on campus that you could go and socialize and have fun and just meet up <laughs> So yeah, basically don't worry, you never be bored at AOE. I feel like you would, in AOE, you, you never be bored, but you will not have the time to do all the things you want to do. So worry about that. Worry about finishing your assignments on time and not letting leadership call if you are a new student or maybe degree program kill you, basically, so you have more time to do stuff. So, yep, this is the end of my video and I hope you enjoyed it and I hope I answered your questions. If there is anything I did not answer, please let me know and then leave it down below in the comment section. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. See you in my next video.